Hello fellow preppers, tis I the rumpled one. I recently received an email from one of those places where they always want you to buy a knife or a flashlight or something. Well, he had this bag, empty bag, for $9.95. Well, I had a gift card, had like $10.09 left on it. So I said, what the heck? It was, you know, one of these new modern bags. I said, because I wanted to build a minimalist get home bag. Only the essentials, no Rambozos. No Rambozos need apply. So, this is what I put together. This bag weighs less than 10 pounds. So, let me show you what I've included. Just stuff that I had around the house. I had one of these little solar flashlights. Because you just might, I might have to do some traveling in the dark though I probably won't it's not a good idea and I added a metal water bottle it has some pretty cool pouches in here but once again I'm gonna focus on the essentials eye protection little first aid kit that I added a few toothpicks to and a lar larger bandaid. Waterproof. Got this from the CERT team up in Douglas County. A bandana. You know they've got, what, 101 uses? Another flashlight and a multi-tool. I think I got this set from Sears. My credit card had some bonus points so it didn't cost me anything. And the local fast food place provided me with some eating utensils. A Sharpie, a pen, a couple of pencils, and some file cards to write on. Might have to leave a note somewhere. Some uh, boot laces and some other cordage. No, I don't have any paracord. Don't need to get into that discussion. Because once again, this is minimalist. Things I had around. I got paracord and other bags. And this little top compartment. I think I got this container at Lowe's for free for some reason or the other. But I've got a lighter, matches, and some tinder. Because, see, what I'm thinking is, I might be 50 miles away from home, so I might be, might take me three days, okay? And I've got a whistle that also has a flashlight that I got from the Coos Bay Fire Department. I got the carabiner at a NASCAR race from the Army. So, you see, this, this isn't really cost me anything. Okay, in the next little compartment here. It's actually not a bad bag. I have an N95 mask and a Ziploc bag. And there's also another little mask in here that I got free somewhere. I can't remember where. Because of... I Maybe I got caught in the fire that's happening down in southwestern Oregon. A couple of my... Uh, members of my prepper group got caught in. You, know, you might need this to evacuate. And then finally, in the larger section here, I just got this bag yesterday. What I have in here is a tin that I got at the thrift store for a quarter. But in here, I've got some uh, beef protein bars, some 
peanut butter crackers, and other granola bars. I figure I could eat a couple of these a day. I think I got enough for three a day for three days. Some more plastic bags, including the ones you get at the grocery store. These, because it's rainy here in southwestern Oregon and northwestern Oregon, all along the coast in Oregon, if I was caught somewhere, I could put these over my socks or inside my socks to keep my feet dry. Probably put them over the socks to keep the socks dry too. But you know, you get these at the store. Unless you live in the socialist uh, city of Eugene, Oregon where they've outlawed plastic bags. And the most essential item, a roll of toilet paper. A pair of work gloves to keep my hands from getting splinters or cuts, a garbage bag that could become a poncho or a ground cloth, this oversized reflective, I, I don't know if it's a space blanket or not, I picked it up at the thrift store, but it could be another ground cover, and a Harbor Freight tarp. Five feet six inches by seven feet six inches. <laughs> Free <laughs> with purchase. So that's it. That is my minimalist get home bag. This is designed to keep me warm and dry and get me home in three days. Now the one thing I probably need to stick in here is a Sawyer water filter. But beyond that, this is it. This is minimalist. This is not a Rambozo bag. You don't see any large pocket knives or, uh, you know, zombie killers or any of that nonsense. Because all I want to do is get home. And I want to have a bag that I'm going to carry with me. Something that's not too big and bulky or too heavy that's going to say, I don't feel like carrying that. No. This bag will go with me. It's, it's simple. It's easy. Now, what I tried to do was avoid all the little things that I could put in here that just, once I say, it starts heading down that trail of Rambo. You know, razor knives, razor blades. I mean, yes, they're useful. But to get home, I don't need it. If I'm going to have to spend a couple nights out in the elements, I just need to cover up, stay warm and dry. I can build a fire. I can build a lean-to. I can, you know, build a makeshift tent. I can do all that with what I have here. Don't need anything else. I don't need a hobo stove, a camp stove, a rocket stove. Uh, no. I'm going to go to sleep, get up, put stuff away, and head home. That's what this bag's designed. So, maybe I did omit something. Maybe somebody might say, hey, you forgot this. And I'll go, yeah, you're right. And I'll add it to the bag. But I'm not. Do I need a compass? No. I know how to get home. Do I need, you know, a map? No. I know how to get home. So, it's just that simple. There's many, many things that aren't here that you can see in all the other bug out bags. But I don't think they're necessary. Because remember, it's your bug out bag. This is for me, it's not for you. So if you need to add to it, fortunately, I don't have to take any medications on a daily basis. But if you do, then that's what you're going to need to put in your bag. So, when it comes to bags, one size does not fit anybody. Your bag fits you and only you. My bag fits me and only me. So hopefully, you may have learned something, it may have given you some ideas, or you may think that the Rumpel One just doesn't know what he's talking about. But in either case, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail.